Hey guys, Mr. B here. Um, there was a couple questions about this one in class the other day, and uh, about how to um, draw the graph if you have an application question, and then find the equation. So uh, this is one that we did in our notes earlier in the year. That's uh, a Ferris wheel problem. So you have this situation. So we draw our uh, grid, and notice all your numbers there is positive. Maybe I'll just read the question there. Gilligan is riding a Ferris wheel at 10 seconds. He is at the top of the Ferris wheel, and he is 14 meters above the ground. So let's have a look and see what's going on here. Maybe lower this a little bit. So 14, 10 seconds, so I'll go by 5. So 10, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. So he's right here. So 14 meters. And then at 46 seconds, he is at the bottom of the Ferris wheel, and it's 2 meters from the ground. So 20, 30, 40, 50. So 46 would be right, right here, and 2 meters right here. So there's my minimum. And so, uh, just for the sake of completeness, I'm going to draw on the rest, so 60, 70, 80, and 90. So if you look here, it takes us 36 seconds to get to this, uh, get to this uh, minimum here from a max. So it takes another 36 to get to the rest of the way. So that's going to get me at 82 seconds. So right here, we go up, and that would be... 82 somewhere about right there and then we can draw in our curve okay so there's our cosine curve a little little curvy there but uh, it's good enough for our our purposes um, so we're asked to find the equation so all we need for the equation of course is HT BT HS BS R E F. So we have some choices here for starting points. We've got one here, and we've got one here. So those are always good choices. And uh, generally, with these problems, you want to do them in terms of sine and cos. Um, so generally, I would choose the first starting point, and I generally, I choose a max. You could choose this one as well, um, but generally, I choose a max because we have a. Ma if I choose a max, I don't have to worry about a reflection for cos. Um, so next, what we have to do is find our, our sinusoidal axis. So our sinusoidal axis comes halfway between our max and our min. So halfway between my at 14 and um, 2 would be 8. Okay, and if you're wondering how I got that, 14 plus 2 divided by 2 is 8. So it's like the average. So now what we need to do is fill in this stuff. So my H, HT is just going to be... Um, Whatever number is on my x-axis at that point, so that's 10. My vt, always going to be my sinusoidal axis, 8. My hs is period divided by 360. And my period goes from here to here, and that's 10 to 82 seconds. So my period is going to be 72 divided by 360, which if you reduce that fraction, it's 1 over 5. Okay, I always got to reduce at that step. So my HS is 1 over 5. My VS is going to be my amplitude, which is the distance from the sinusoidal axis to the top. So that's going to be um, 6 units. And I started at a max, so I have no reflection. That's where cos starts, so no reflection. So now i got to write my equation. So my equation looks like this. Um, my VS is 1 over 6. So my VS is 6. So my equation is 1 over 6 y minus 8 is equal to cos of 5 times uh, x minus 10. All right, done deal. Now all we have to do now is find the height at 2 minutes. So 2 minutes is 120 seconds. Everything we did was in terms of seconds, so this has to be in terms of seconds as well. 
So first thing I'll do is put it in transform in standard form. So I get y is equal to six cos uh, five x minus ten, and don't forget my plus eight over here. So I'll figure this part out first, then add on my eight. So I got six cos to five one one sorry one two zero minus ten plus eight. So I'll do it on my calculator. So I'm gonna have cos of five times one one zero. So one hundred twenty subtract ten, which is one hundred ten. So five. So it's negative times 6, and then plus my 8, and that gives me uh, approximately 2.1. So, we're somewhere close to the minimum at 120 seconds, but not quite there. Alright, and that's a typical example that you might face on, a, on an exam, and I hope this helps, guys. See you in class.